how to add payment links in your google form hey everyone welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll show you step by step how we can actually start accepting payments in our google forms it is actually very easy and simple to do so let's just go in and get started now for me i'm just going to create a blank form but if you already have one and you want to be able to accept money from it then you will need to just format a few things in a specific way so just edit them and i will show you exactly what i'm trying to say so in my case i'm just going to create a blank form and rename it for example tickets now basically the format is going to be as follows it's going to be multiple choice if you want it to be and then you can also you know rename this the question name to the name of the service so if you guys for example just do tickets and then the options are going to be the options for tickets that you are selling so here let's just go ahead and go for vip tickets so let's say you want to sell vip tickets for 50 dollars. in this case you will need to do the text first which is the uh, name of the service first so just vip tickets and then you will need to hit space dash space one more time and then you would want to add the currency you want to receive money in in my case i'm just i'm just going to go for dollars us dollars i'm just going to add the dollar sign and then i'm just going to state the amount which is 50 dollars so name of the product or service space dash space uh the currency and then the amount and you can feel free to add as many options as you actually like i'm just going to go for standard ticket um no, tickets space dash space and then dollar sign 20. now it, it could be you know euros it could be pounds it doesn't really matter just go ahead and add the actual um currency that you want to use so once this is done we basically want to install a very well known um add-on which is you know going to make it payable so we can just go ahead and click on the three dots on the top right click on get add-ons and then we want to basically search for uh payable forms so you're just going to search for payable forms and you should find this one right here click on it and then just go ahead and click on install And then obviously here you would want to read what it is actually going to be allowed to do. And if you accept it, you can just feel free to click on accept. Now in a sec, it should just say that it is actually installed here for us. Click on done. And then you will need to go to responses. Click on link to sheet. And then I'm just going to create a new one. Just in case, it's just going to make things easier for us later on. So if you don't see this already from the bottom right, you just feel free to click on the this icon here, the puzzle icon, and just click on payable forms, and it should actually open this up for you. Now, if you just open this up, first you will need to auto configure form and sheet. Click on that. And just give it a little bit of time. And then here you can feel free to see the connected Google Sheet. I'm not going to do so, I'm not going to uh, do so. And then we basically want to connect a payment provider. Click on here. And here it's just going to show us a list of payment providers that it actually accepts. So you can just go and connect it to Stripe, PayPal, Square, and so on. So just connect it to your account and you should be good to go. Uh, and then later you will need to click on make this form payable and click on yes. But um, you only need to first connect a payment provider to do so. So just going to connect a payment provider and you just click on yes, make that make sure this is uh, yes. And after that, you're pretty much good to go. The only thing left for you to do is just go in and turn on test mode, which should also be in here once you connect your um, your payment provider. Turn on test mode, send this form to yourself by just going uh, and copying it and then just go ahead and fill in the form and see how it's actually going to work or not. So this is all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching.